Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this cool scaling text reveal animation inside of Filmora 13. So this text animation is very simple to create, and we don't need any extra plugins to create this. So let's jump into Filmora and get started. Okay guys here I use 1920 by 1080 resolution with 60 fps, so you can use any resolution you want here. Okay first we need to add a text, so I go to the text, and add the default title to the timeline like this. Okay after that you can customize your text to what you like, so here I type creative, and I use Montserrat black font style. So after that we need to add two duplicates of this text layer. So I take a copy of this layer, and paste two times like this. Okay, after that I change these layers colors. Then I select this layer, and we need to remove these letters, except for the last letter. So I delete the unwanted letters like this. Okay, after that select the second layer, and this time we need to remove our last letter. So I remove my last letter E like this. Okay then select our original text, and change the text color to whatever you like, so I change it to this red color. Okay after that we need to animate our last letter E. So first I hide my middle layer for now, then I select the letter E layer, and go to the start. And I click this keyframe button to add a keyframe. Then go to the layer settings, and first I change the rotation to something minus 180, and scale to 0. Then I go to the first second, and I reset the scale for now, then I change the rotation to minus 90, and increase the scale to something like this. Also I adjust the position a little bit. Ok then go to few seconds forward, and change the rotation to 0, scale to 100, and also reset the position. Then we need to place the letter E on top of our original text, so if you hard to place correctly, you can simply zoom this preview area, by clicking this preview window, and scrolling the mouse wheel. So then we can simply place our letter like this. Ok now we have this kind of animation, but it didn't have a smooth look. So let's adjust the key graph, so open the keyframe panel, and select only these scale keyframes, and add this curve graph preset to this. Ok guys now it looks like this. Ok now we need to animate our other text part, so I unhide my second layer. Then I select here on the timeline. So after that select this layer, and add the keyframe as we added before. So then go to the position, and I bring this text layer here, and change the opacity to 0, then go to few seconds forward, and I reset the position. Also change the opacity back to 100, then we need to place these letters on top of our original text, so I adjust it like this. Ok guys now our animation looks like this. So then let's adjust the key graph, go to the keyframe panel, select this last position keyframe, and I add this curve graph preset, then select this last opacity keyframe, and I add ease in preset to this. Ok after that you can delete or hide our main text layer, and now we have our complete text animation. So then let's see how to add this trail effect to this animation. So first we need to add the background. So I go to the stock media, and I use this video for my background. Then we need to add an adjustment layer to add our effect. So I add it like this. Ok then go to the effect tab, and select this radial blur effect in the video effects, and add it to our adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and I change the phase increment value to 0, zoom rate to something like 1. 
Then I select here on the timeline, and create a keyframe on this opacity. Then go to the end of the animation, and change it to zero. So guys our scaling text animation is complete, so here's the result. So guys that's how we can make awesome scaling text animation inside of Filmora 13. So you can see it's very simple to create, and we created this animation without any paid effects. So I hope this tutorial helps you. And also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist, or you can visit the Filmora Creator Hub to access more awesome tutorials. So you can follow the links below to access the Filmora Creator Hub. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.